Hello guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is another video in instrument control using LabVIEW. Uh, nowadays, I was uh, learning to take measurements from uh, lock-in amplifier. So I just thought to make few videos about this lock-in amplifier uh, that will be useful for anyone uh, who is going to start uh, working or already working on this instrument. So let us see. Okay. Uh, now I have shared my screen. Uh, now I just try to communicate first with this instrument. I just open library program. Uh, I will go as I had done in previous video, like uh, we have tested for uh, nano volt meter. So I'll go in. Uh, you know, find examples. Hardware input and output and GPIB and in, in, in simple GPIB. So I have selected the address one and uh, I, I, I try to run. I have connected the instrument with my computer and I will try to run this program. Uh, so there is error and that might be because of a wrong GPIB address. Uh, because then you know uh, I have just I have just restarted this instrument, so that's why it has gone to its default uh, GPIB address, which is eight. Uh, I need to change, but uh, I am changing here and just in the run this program. So this, as you can see, there is a message about the system. Mm, so it it can communicate with our instruments. Uh, so uh, I will now make a new VI for the for communicating with this instrument that is here. And uh, let us go on log diagram. And then I'll put visa palette here. And the, first, I will have visa open. And definitely, there has to be visa close. And now uh, I will need some write and some read. That's all I need for uh, communicating with any instrument or making program for any instrument for any simple instrument. Uh, okay, I will make it to control, rename it locking, and then I will connect this to this. Okay, uh, then first I, I would like to reset it, you know, settings. So that's uh, I, I make it constant and put the command for reset star R S T. That reset almost all the instruments, and uh, then I'll see uh, what is output on channel one. So. The command uh, you can get come all the commands in its manual, but the command for seeing output the command for seeing output is O U T P and uh, then question mark and then from for channel one it has to be one and it should be and uh, Then again, I would like to read this message. So I have to set it. Maybe I'm not uh, required to this. I will just directly read this. Using read me I the count uh, I can set anything and this is buffer I will read mm. 
so this is done this is a simple program uh, and just and just want to read the output of locking from channel 1 it is already you know zero as because i had not given any signal or i am not connected connected in instrument so it this i will select the instrument this is one and now i i'll run this program yeah it has given some data let us see what is it so uh, now same I, I would like to see for channel 2 let us change this to 2 it's a 0 ok uh, I don't know why it is showing uh, something, some value to channel 1 and some value to channel 2. Uh, I have to see, as well, I have already told that I am just learning to operate this instrument. So, just, uh, I just need explanation for this. Uh, I'll see and uh, let you know if, if I get something interesting. Uh, now, let us give some other commands like I need to change its frequency. Uh, it's a default frequency is 1 kilohertz it is already set to it and i just want to make it to you know uh, 2 kilohertz so what i will do is just uh, i will write it here F R E Q as you can see as you can see it is now set to 1 um, kilohertz okay 1 k z now uh, i am just i have given command it for for being it to 2000 hertz like 2 kilohertz then let's see what happens let's run this program Uh, although there is a error message uh, because uh, there is nothing to read so it it could not read but uh, uh, you can see here the frequency changed to 2 kilohertz okay uh, you know uh, we can change this error message like we can inspect this frequency also like uh, what i have to do is uh, just stop this program and make some rearrangement yeah it is there and uh, here uh, i will put come on to inspect frequency that is f r e q question mark and then semicolon let us see what happens uh, you know I, I don't actually know what is command i have to see manual for it but i'm just guessing what could be the command so let us see let us run this program okay 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 and now i think we have some readings so you can see here frequency 
so this is okay for today's video and I don't know right now much about this instrument so as I read and as I study and then I will let you know about some other interesting properties of this uh, locking amplifier and lapping. Thank you for watching.